Praise God. Hallelujah. Welcome to the sphere of grace. I am Pastor Shegun Obaje. Glory to God. Amen. Today, we're considering the place of prophetic utterances in magnetizing money. Praise God. Prophetic utterances attract money. You remember in scriptures in 2 Kings chapter 7, there was a famine in Samaria and the prophet of God, Elisha, prophesied that by this time tomorrow there will be abundance at the gate of Samaria. And it was so because he prophesied it, he spoke it by the Spirit of God. In Hosea 12 and verse 13, it says, By a prophet Israel was um, delivered from captivity, and by a prophet he actually established them. He actually delivered them from captivity by a prophet, and he led them into the inheritance by a prophet. Praise God. Prophetic utterances are words inspired by God, spoken to move you to where you belong. They are Holy Spirit inspired, Holy Spirit aided, Holy Spirit given words meant to take you into your inheritances. And that's what they are. Um, in Acts of the Apostles chapter 20 and verse 32, Paul commended the brethren to God and to the word of his grace. He says, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance amongst them that are sanctified. Listen, beloved, there's such a thing as prophetic utterances, bringing favor your way, bringing relationships that will lead into increase your way, bringing opportunities your way. Prophetic utterances can actually deliver to you that which God has assigned to you. Praise God. And that's what I'm going to be doing any moment from now. I'm going to be speaking words into your life that will catapult you to where you belong. And I'm going to be speaking words that will bring you to the place of value. Your value will be perceived correctly by people around you and they will respond to the products that you are offering in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I declare today that the hand of the Lord is strong upon your life and I pray for you today money comes your way in the name of Jesus Christ I mean money real cool money comes your way in the name of Jesus I speak right now opportunities into your life opportunities that will take you to the next level in the name of Jesus Christ it is well with you it is well with yours in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that person that you need to meet, that move that you need to make, that contact that you need to make to move to the next level, that vital link that you need to establish, you have it this week in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I declare that the lines are falling onto you in pleasant places. You have a goodly heritage in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Abundance in your gate, abundance in your house, abundance in your city, in the name of Jesus, I speak it and I call it so, in Jesus' name. The hand of the Lord is upon you for prosperity. And I declare that you wash your feet in butter and the rock pours you out rivers of oil, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go forward and make progress with your life and in all that you do in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare concerning you, lack is over with in the name of Jesus. You are rich, you are blessed, you are prosperous. And I declare that every need of yours is supernaturally met in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Over and above that which you require in Jesus' name. I pray for you today in the name of the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord is upon you to attract silver and gold in the name of Jesus Christ. And glory responds to you in the name of Jesus. It is well with you in Jesus' name. I believe you've received every word that has been spoken by the Spirit of God. And I know you've been blessed. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you. People have this idea that um, they have to be saved for them to be rich. No. If you really want to be very rich, you have to learn to serve others. Mm -hmm.